Hello friends. In this video, we'll see the endpoint of a WCF service. Endpoint is the entry point to the service. That means, as a client, if you want to access the service, you need to enter into the service. And this entry is nothing but the endpoint. As a service endpoint, you need to define three things. That is, address, binding, and contract. It is popularly called as ABC of a service, where A stands for address. B stand for binding and C stand for contract. Every service must have an address that defines where the service is resides. That is where the service is located. Contract defines what the service does. That is what service provides to the outside world. Binding defines how to communicate with the service. That is which protocol should be used in order to communicate with the service. In WCF, address binding and contract constitute the endpoint. So the endpoint is a combination of address binding and contract. Now this is the pictorial representation of ABC, that is address binding and contract. Address is where. So address indicates where the service is located. Address is a URL which points to the location of service. Binding, how? It determines how to communicate with the service, that is which protocol should be used in order to communicate with the service. Contract, what? Contract indicates what functionality service provides. Mainly there are four types of contracts available in WCF. That is, service contract, data contract, message contract, and call contract. So this is the pictorial representation of your endpoint. Now this is the example of uh, endpoint. So this is the endpoint is, is put in a web config. Alright, so how to define the endpoint in a web config? So this is address. Address indicates URL. URL where the service is located. Contract. Contract is what service provides. In this case, I use IMS service. So IMS service is nothing but the interface. So generally in the interface, uh, generally in the contract, we put the interface. Okay, that indicates some operation. Now this this is a this is the interface whose name is IMS service. So it provides some mathematical calculation to the outside world. Binding. Binding is how to communicate with the service, which protocol should be used. In this case, I have used WS HTTP binding. Okay, so this is a one of the binding that can be used. So here we use the HTTP protocol. Okay. So this is a simple example of service endpoint that is defined in the web config. Okay. So this was about the endpoint of a service. So I end this video here. Thank you.